Well, this is a Gila monster, Gila dermis suspectum. And these lizards are native to the southwest United States. And they're very neat lizards, but they are protected by law. And the reason for that is their numbers are in decline. They mostly suffer from habitat loss uh, because a lot of people enjoy living in the southwest. Um, building things typically destroys their habitat. And they live primarily underground. They spend most of their life uh, in burrows. If you can, do it. Yeah. Yeah. The venom glands of these lizards are in the lower jaw. You can see where the jaw looks fat. Those are the venom glands. And the venom glands are just a spongy kind of glandular tissue. They don't have a uh, muscle surrounding them or any muscle surrounding them like snake venom glands do. And they introduce their venom into whatever it is they're biting just by the chewing mechanism. And you can see how it kind of makes this almost mechanical type chew. There he goes again. And when he does that, that's what pushes the venom out of the gland and up into the tooth. And the rear teeth, or the lower teeth in the, in the jaw are grooved. So the venom slides along the groove in those teeth through capillary action into whatever it's biting. And I'm just kind of rubbing the lizard to make him a little bit more upset so that he continues to bite. Thump it a little bit. Good. It's starting to get a little bit coming. Drum.